After all the success the Bison football team had last year, it's hard to imagine any regrets on the 2012 season. But this team strives for perfection, and still on the minds of many is the one blip from last year's 14-1 record. October 13, 2012, a 17-14 loss to this week's opponent, Indiana State. Well, as soon as you look back on it, like, ah, oh, we had a great year, but, you know, we just got lazy that one week, or we just didn't have quite, quite have that one week like the rest of them. Um, you know, and it kind of grinds the guys a little bit in some ways. We're all perfectionists. You know, we want to be as dominant and as good as we possibly can be. So, you know, it grinds everybody just a little bit. So, I think we're going to be ready to go this week. Back of our mind, you know, we, we, we want to make, uh, you know, make a, make it a better game. I think our players recognize that this is the team that defeated us last year. And so, more than a revenge factor, I think it's a... Uh, it's a, once again another uh, eye-opening deal that, hey, these guys didn't go to the playoffs yet. They were very good and they beat us at home. This roster features 24 seniors that have seen just about everything in their career. It's that experience that fuels this Bison squad to bring their A game every week, regardless of the opponent. As Coach Bull always says, one game at a time. And in the Missouri Valley Football Conference, that mindset is crucial every week. You know, it's important not, not to have a letdown for us. You know, we. We've had a couple wake-up calls in you know, the past two years, and we're beyond that. You know, we're a veteran team, a lot of seniors on this team, um, guys who've played many games, and um, you know, we don't we don't need to, to let that happen again. You know, we have the maturity, we have the, the coaching staff that you know gives us the focus that we need, and and um, I just think that we're beyond that, and um, you know, we'll be ready to go for for every game uh, here on out. Our guys are also experienced in the valley. Their number one goal is to win the valley. Their number one goal is to win the Missouri Valley, and, and the best way they know how is to win the next game and also not count on somebody else to have to slip up. The Bison may have had to alter their game plan defensively this week. Indiana State running back Shakir Bell will not be in uniform. Not having the electric back will be a major blow to the Sycamores. He rushed for over 100 yards against the Herd last year, and earlier this season eclipsed the 4,000 yard mark for his career. You know, this year I think they have uh, a lot of excellent running backs. I know their backup and even I think the third string guy have both played quite a bit and they're both very good backs. So, you know, in terms of preparation, we're just going to have to be ready to play a good player no matter what. You know, whoever's on the field, they're going to be uh, they're going to be ready to go. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like they change their schemes too much based on which running backs in the game. So our calls are pretty much going to be the same. Um, so, you know, we, we know it's going to be a challenge no matter what. Remain unbeaten and earn their 16th straight away from Fargo much on the line in Terre Haute, Indiana on Saturday. GoBison.com will be with the herd and complete coverage online will follow. Reporting for NDSU All Access, I'm Casey Byers.